Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I want to read a little bit of um, the parable of the talents. I was doing my class last night and um, or yesterday afternoon, and one of the young ladies asked, why don't you teach on finances? And the reason why I have been um, kind of like not reluctant but ap apprehensive is, is like I told them, um, you have a lot of people that are still in the illusion of what money is, um, as if to say it's tangible. Um, when you go back to the beginning of time, we find that there was no money. And therefore, it's hard to really get people to tap into the idea of money being energy. Like we are the, the reason why money is able to be received. You get a check because you go to work. And so you are the energy that actually um, creates money. When you look at it, um, breaking it down um, is hard if you have people that don't meditate because of course, you know, most people know that you work for money, but then when you flip the script and you begin to um, educate people on entrepreneurship, um, an entrepreneur is a creator, and that means that they get their inspiration from within, um, and they create from within. Most entrepreneurs are not going to be external um, individuals. They get their vision from outside. Their vision is going to come from within, and so um, I'm going to just read the parable of the talents um, in Matthew 25 and 14 through uh, 30. It says, for it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted them his property. To one, he gave five talents. To another, um, two. To another, one. To each according to his ability. Then he went away. Um, he who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them. All right, very important. And he who had five talents more, so he also had the two talents made two talents more. He who had received one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with him. He who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents here. I have made five talents more. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also, who had two talents, came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here, I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter in the joy of your master. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I knew you had to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid and I went and hid your talent. Now this is the key. I went and hid your talent. And so in the class, what I was explaining to them, the reason why people um, are actually afraid to give as the master gave to them to produce um, is because they feel like they've never had enough or we've had, you know, the mindset of slavery that has, you know, um, extended into our consciousness and we don't, you know, realize it. And so when slavery is a part of the consciousness, meaning that if I go to work and I don't make enough, um, I'm not going to be able to give to others or, you know, give into others so that they can produce more as this master did in, in the Bible. And, and the key is, is that you have to believe that you're going to receive after you give. Um, all of this here was a test to see what they were going to do. 
you know, you could call someone up and you can say, okay, I have a hundred dollars to give you. You don't have to ask them, what are you going to do with it? What you want to see in them as a leader is if they will use it and maximize what is given. Because if they maximize it, then they're using the talent that they have. Your talent is um, spiritual, number one. Your talent is um, what makes room for you. The Bible says that your gift makes room for you. And I know a lot of people don't want to believe in the Bible. It is a spiritual um, presence. It's a spiritual um foundation that gets an understanding of what I'm saying, because a spiritual being, someone that is practicing um, the laws of spirituality, they're not going to be afraid because they know the principles of the universe says that whatever you give, you will uh, receive. You must bless in order to be blessed. You see, you must be kind in order to get kindness. You must love in order to uh, be loved. And that means that it starts with you and I. It starts with me first. So in the parable of the sower, the master knew what these um, individuals had. And so his idea was to pull it out into the external for them to manifest this at this time. You can go to work for people all the time, but if you are a leader, someone that can double the money because you have that kind of mindset, which is given from heaven into earth, then the master will come and give you something that you are called to maximize. Now, the master is not always um, a physical being. We've been tested on a lot of things in these uh, areas and we may have failed and we may have passed. The key is, is are you aware of what's happening in your life? When you are given an opportunity, are we aware? Because opportunities come and they go, you know? And so um, with that being said, I'm going to uh, leave you guys. But remember, to store up, your talents and put it in a hole um, for something that you think may come may not be workable for you. You may have been called to give and to assist those that are in need. When we look at the world right now, um, we're going to have to be as one, come together and, you know, funnel our work. Uh, possessions, our money together in order to make it through the times that we're looking on. Um, I would have never thought that in history that I would have seen the capital, you know, taken over. I didn't read too much into it and I don't have a problem with what happened. It's time for a change and it's only the people that's going to make the change. As in, if you have a leader that gives you something and you're a part of a leadership program, say like I have, you know, and someone gives you something, look at how you can maximize that and turn it into more so that everyone can push forward. This is not a time when we're looking at individuality. We're looking at groups. What can the individual do with five talents, okay? What can the other individual do with two? Um, life is not going to give you more than you can handle in production, but if we're not producing um, more uh, when we're given something, then that means that we might become like the fig tree. Um, no production and so it becomes cursed all right so um of course if you want to get in on our leadership programs you can contact me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com um if you want to be a part of our uh, class on spiritual um compassing um you can contact me at ifwb uh, at gmail.com and the information will be you know, in the description. So thanks for listening. You guys be blessed. And I hope you get the context of what's being said, because whenever we're saving something, we have no room for anything to come in. Now, um, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't save money. I don't want nobody coming over here talking about, well, she said this and she said that. 
If there is a need, can you meet it to help brothers and sisters? That's what I'm saying. Because Joseph talks about um, over in Genesis, um, and he tells the slaves how to get out of slavery. I'll save that for another day. But saving is a part of it. So you can't exhaust all and not give to yourself because then you would be missing. The thing is, is that you don't want to just put something in a place and it has a need to be fulfilled. You get me? So you guys be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thanks for um, listening. Uh, 50 plus. You see my um, videos on 50 plus because I'm encouraging people over 50 to get up and continue their life. We're just starting life. Like I just had a birthday at 56. I'm excited about new beginnings and the ability to uh, create more life for myself. You release some things and then you apprehend the new. But if you don't release, then you can't get the new that's coming in. The same with the talent of the sore. I mean, the um, talent. Yes, the talent of the sore. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.